Hey guys, welcome back to Think Making. I'm Anton and today I'll be reviewing some ABS filament by Melting. So let's get to it. Well, you may know Melting from a past video I made on their PLA. That stuff was great and their ABS is no different. Many people don't like to use ABS because it may be hard to use. But this ABS worked almost flawlessly for me. So let's take a look. Melting's filaments come inside this box, which besides their logo, has cutouts to see the filament inside, and has some basic printing parameters for their different filaments on the back. Inside the box you'll only find the roll of filament, which is vacuum sealed to keep moisture away. The spool is not transparent though, so you don't know exactly how low on filament you are. And there is only one spot on the spool to hold the end of the filament so I had to drill some extra holes. The spool also has a sticker with the same info as the box. The winding is good so don't expect any nasty jams. The filament itself is very smooth and handles flexing pretty well. The diameter is also very consistent so you'll get silky smooth finishes. So let's see how well it prints. I printed my three usual test designs, a calibration cube, a Marvin, and a 3D Benchy. Using an E3D V6 at a 0.2 layer height, I found 240 degrees to be a great printing temperature, and the glue stick with the bed at 85 to 90 degrees, great for adhesion. Also, I did get it to stick on my lock build surface with no glue stick at all. As for the results, the calibration cube is perfect. The letters are well defined and corners sharp. As for the Marvin, brim was easily removed. Overhangs came out really nice and the overall finish was among the best I've had so far. The same goes to the 3D Benchy. Curves are smooth, overhangs really nice, corners sharp and bridging perfect. Knowing that this filament prints really nice and smooth, I went ahead and printed a couple of things that I thought might look great with this filament. To start off, I printed this chest piece and again, that finish. It looks so nice. Then I printed this amazing dragon. It's in MakerBot's collection and I couldn't help to print it. The end result looks smooth as hell. Next I printed this beauty. I'm sure it's Marlin Monroe's or something along the line. Then I printed this vase using vase mode and whoa this filament is consistent. Layers look seamless and uniform. Then I printed this whistle which is supposed to sound up to 118 decibels high. And that's damn loud for a 3D printed whistle. I also printed some back clips so my chips wouldn't go bad after only a day. ABS should handle daily use just fine. Finally, I printed this add-on for my Dremel, which is supposed to blow debris away. So this filament is awesome. I experienced no warping whatsoever even in an open air printer. Although one print did crack, I forgot to turn my AC off. Dumb me. The diameter is very consistent, making the overall finish look very good. As it's ABS, it will also resist higher temperatures, stronger impacts, and more flexing than PLA. If you want a smoother finish, it can be sanded easily and can also be smooth with acetone vapor. So this filament is good for projects where durability and precision are important factors, such as building prototypes or props or simply when a very smooth finish is required. If you want to try a roll for yourself, I'll link Melting's website down in the description, along with all the designs I featured in this video. Also remember to tag ThinkMaking in Instagram or Twitter to get a chance to get your creations featured. Well guys, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and smash that like button. If you loved it, consider supporting me through Patreon or by buying some cool stuff in my merch store. There's new t-shirts. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're wondering what to watch next, check out this video. Again guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.